Welcome to Pat's Picks. This is the $50 Challenge. Thank you so much for coming by. Today is episode 11, and I'm going to go over the last couple days with you. Um, because I took a few days off of filming, just been really crazy working on projects and whatnot. So diving right in here, and let's take a look at Thursday. Well, let's rewind it back a little bit further. Um, I just got eaten up a couple days prior to that, minus 31, minus 43, and I didn't even have time to, uh, well, time, I probably had the time, let's be honest. I didn't write down all the details on that. Um, I just, you know, frustration. Uh, I shouldn't have been trading when I did, and I was holding the hedges and basically wasn't watching them. So um, sometimes, you know, it's just better to not trade uh, based on the outside circumstances. In those days, I was not able to attend my trades, and I paid the price dearly. You know, you can get lucky on those days, and uh, things can work out your way, but 95% um, of the time for me, this is what happens. I hit completely ripped apart so you know it is what it is you live and you learn but here we go i am being a little bit more conservative now while i build up some buying power so friday plus 20 percent i took one trade for a nice 50 percent gain zero day till expire and if we flip on over here and here we go looking at today i took one trade zero days till expire for 33 percent gain and that brought the account up 17 percent and you can see right there the pt 5680 um i actually started a paper trading challenge with webull and i'll dive into the details on that on another video so please check that one out um that you know what that might already be out depending on when i posted it so either way please check it out whether it's out now or coming out soon and so I got a lot of videos I want to film and not a lot of time to do it. So I'm just trying to find the best way to put out the content. But there you have it. Last couple days green. And again, I focused a lot on that paper trading challenge today. And I'll get into those details later. But again, greatly appreciate each and every single one of you. If you're new here, please subscribe and please smash that like button. And let's dive right in. We are looking at the 15 minute chart here. We are so, so close to hitting all time highs on the SPY. I can barely believe it, but feast your eyes. Looking at the weekly chart right here, you know, we hit a high today of 462.17, and you can see that all time high just a little less than $5 away from where we were today. So, pretty incredible how far we've come in just the last few weeks. You know, one, two, three, four, five, the last two months really. You know, we kind of bottomed out in November um, and have been ripping every single week since so that's seven green weeks in a row which we have not seen in quite some time so you know it makes me nervous it's like when's that pullback gonna happen will we see all-time highs before next year no one knows stay tuned but anyways let's zoom on in here and cover these couple trades and wrap this up really quick so i can get on to that paper trading challenge and also a futures video I know not as many of you watch the futures videos, uh, but if you are waiting on that, I do have one of those coming too, just so you're aware. Uh, sorry to leave you guys hanging. One man show here. But anyway. So looking back on Friday, I got in this trade right here and I only held it for five minutes for a 50% gain. Cannot complain about that. Got in at 10.06 right here. Once it looked like we we're getting some strong momentum to the upside. You can see right here, I was really wanting to get in right here when we're building support, but I missed this big candle. So I waited for it to consolidate a couple minutes and then I decided to get in and I only held that for five minutes, like I said, and got out at 10.11 for 50% gain. And uh, you know, once it started to slow down right here, I was like, all right, I'm not gonna take a chance. Let's go on to today. And again, I got in a similar time, but I held it for so much longer and it was really a better move as far as price action goes. But because it took so long, you know, the gains weren't that great. 33% though, cannot complain. So I got in at 10.07, got out at 10.53. So I think that's around 47 minutes or so. So much longer than I prefer to hold. But at the same time, I was trading futures and I believe paper trading also um, with the hedge. So that was keeping me occupied. Otherwise, watching something like this for 50 minutes is so painful. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Grateful for green on that one. And let's take a look at the account. There you have it, two green days in a row, and let's just keep the streak going. I'm gonna be conservative, like I said, build this account back up, and then get more aggressive with it, um, and not be hedging and walking away, because what you can see right here is exactly what happened two days in a row, you know, having to do stuff with my kids and this and that. I'm not gonna get into all the details, but if you're a father or a mother, 
you know what I'm saying. Um, but anyways, that's all I have for this video. I'm going to move on to that paper trading challenge. So again, please check that out if it's not up already, or if it is, check it out either way. I greatly appreciate each and every single one of you guys. I truly mean that. I mean, I'm almost to a thousand subscribers and, uh, it, it blows my mind. That's almost twice of the size of my high school, which is pretty incredible and I know a thousand is so far from a million but you know I'm gonna keep on pushing hopefully one day I'll get there but either way I just hope some of you guys watching take some valuable information from this and can truly you know take that knowledge and apply it and over time it can truly change your life so hope you stay happy and healthy and I'll see you tomorrow